This audio explains how to create the Merkaba field by performing Dranvalo Melchizedek's breathing meditation, which includes simultaneous application of the heart, mind, and breath. Merkaba meditation according to Dranvalo Melchizedek. The teaching on spherical breathing. Like the sun, we must breathe, radiating out to all life and from all life, we will receive our mana. Begin by creating a place in your home that is used only for this meditation. Make a space where no one will walk through or disturb you, possibly in your bedroom. A small altar with a candle and a cushion or pillow to sit upon may be helpful. Make this place holy. It is here that you will learn to create the Merkaba around your body and to make conscious contact with your higher self. Once each day, enter into this meditation until the time comes when you are a conscious breather, remembering with each breath your intimate connection with God. To begin the meditation, first sit down and relax. Let the worries of the day go. Breathe rhythmically and shallow. Be aware of your breath and relax. When you feel the tension begin to fade, begin to open your heart. Feel love. Feel love for all life everywhere. Continue to breathe rhythmically, being aware of your breath and feel the love moving through your spirit. When the feeling of love is in your beingness, you are ready to begin to move towards the experience to the Merkaba. Without this love, no amount of knowledge will create the Merkaba. To the degree that you are able to love will be the degree you will be able to experience the Merkaba. The following is an overview of the meditation to reach the Merkaba. There are 17 breaths to reach completion. The first six are for balancing of the polarities within your eight electrical circuits and also for the cleansing of these circuits. The next seven, which are quite different, are to reestablish the proper pranic flow through your body and to recreate spherical breathing within your body. The 14th breath is unique unto itself it changes the balance of pranic energy within your body from third dimensional to fourth dimensional awareness. The last three breaths recreate the rotating fields of the Merkaba within and around your body. The instructions. The following instructions will be broken down into four areas, mind, body, breath, and heart. First breath, inhale, heart, open your heart and feel the love for all life. If you cannot do this, you must at least open to this love as much as is possible for you. This is the most important instruction of all. Mind, become aware of the male tetrahedron the apex facing up to the sun, the point facing to the front for male, the point to the back for females, filled with the brilliant white light surrounding your body. Visualize it the best you can. If you cannot visualize it, sense or feel it surrounding you. Body the same moment of inhalation, place your hands in the mudra of your thumb and first finger touching. Remember, lightly touch your fingers and do not allow your fingers to touch each other or any other object. Keep your palms facing up. Breath. At the same moment with empty lungs, begin to breathe in a complete yogic manner. Breathe through your nostrils only except at certain places which will be described. Simply put, 
Breathe from your stomach first, then your diaphragm, and finally your chest. Do this in one movement, not three parts. The exhale is completed either by holding the chest firm and relaxing the stomach, slowly releasing the air, or by holding the stomach firm and re relaxing the chest. The most important aspect is that this breathing must be rhythmic. Begin by using seven seconds in and seven seconds out. But as you get familiar with this meditation, find your own rhythm. The following instructions for a complete yogic breath are from the Hindu Yogi Science of Breath. Perhaps this description will be helpful. Breathing through the nostrils, inhale steadily. First, filling the lower part of the lungs, which is accomplished by bringing into play the diaphragm, which descending exerts a gentle pressure on the abdominal organs, pushing forward the front walls of the abdomen. Then fill the middle part of the lungs, pushing out the lower ribs, breastbone and chest. Then fill the higher portion of the lungs, protruding the upper chest, thus lifting the chest, including the upper six or even pairs of ribs. At first reading, it may appear that this breath consists of three distinct movements. This, however, is not the correct idea. The inhalation is continuous. The entire chest cavity from the lowered diaphragm to the highest point of the chest in the region of the collarbone being expanded with a uniform movement. Avoid a jerky series of inhalations and strive to attain a steady, continuous action. Practice will soon overcome the tendency to divide the inhalation into three movements and will result in a uniform, continuous breath. You will be able to complete the inhalation in a few seconds after a little practice. Exhale quite slowly, holding the chest in a firm position and drawing the abdomen in a little and lifting it upward as the air leaves the lungs. When the air is entirely exhaled, relax the chest and abdomen. A little practice will render this part of the exercise easy and the movement once acquired will be afterward performed almost automatically. First breath, exhale, heart, love, mind, become aware of the female tetrahedron, apex pointing to the earth, point facing to the back for males, point facing to the front for females, and also filled with the brilliant white light. Body, keep the same mudra, breath, do not hesitate at the top of the inhalation to begin the exhalation. Exhale quite slowly, approximately seven seconds in the yogic manner. When the air is out of the lungs without forcing, relax the chest and abdomen and hold the breath. When you feel pressure to breathe again, after about five seconds or so, then do the following. Mind. Be aware of the flat equilateral triangle at the top of the female tetrahedron located in the horizontal plane that passes through your chest at the sternum. In a flash and with a pulse-like energy, send that triangular plane down through the female tetrahedron. It gets smaller as it goes down and pushes out the tip or apex of the tetrahedron, all the negative energy of the mudra or electrical circuit. A light will shoot out of the apex toward the center of the earth. The mind exercise is performed along with the following body movements. Body, move your eyes slightly toward each other, or in other words, 
slightly cross your eyes. Now bring them up to the top of their sockets, or in other words, look up. Also, this looking up motion should not be extreme. You will feel a tingling feeling between your eyes and the area of your third eye. You can now look down to the lowest point you can, as fast as you can. You should feel an electrical sensation move down your spine. The mind and body must coordinate to the above mental exercise with the eye movements. The eyes look down from their up position at the same time. The mind sees the triangular horizontal plane of the female tetrahedron move down to the apex of the female tetrahedron. This combined exercise will clean out the negative thoughts and feelings that have entered into your electrical system. Specifically, it will clean out the part of your electrical system that is associated with the particular mudra you are using. Immediately upon pulsing the energy down your spine, you change mudras to the next one and begin the entire cycle over again. The next five breaths are a repeat of the first breath with the following mudra changes. Second breath mudra, thumb and second finger together. Third breath mudra, thumb and third finger together. Fourth breath mudra, thumb and little finger together. Fifth breath mudra, thumb and first finger together as same as the first breath. Sixth breath mudra, thumb and second finger together, same as the second breath. The first part, the first six breaths, the balancing of the polarities and the cleansing of your electrical system is now complete. You are now ready for the next part, the next seven breaths. Here, an entirely new breathing pattern begins. You do not need to visualize the star tetrahedron at this time. Only the tube that runs through the star from the apex of the male tetrahedron above your head to the apex of the female tetrahedron below your feet needs to be seen and worked with. This extends one hand length above your head and one hand length below your feet. The diameter of your tube will be the size of the hole formed by your thumb and forefinger touching. Breath number seven, inhale, heart, love. There is another refinement here that can be used after you have perfected this meditation. It will be discussed in class. Mind, visualize or sense the tube running through your body. The instant you begin the seventh inhale, see the brilliant white light of the prana moving down the tube from the top and up the tube from the bottom at the same time. This movement is almost instantaneous. The point where the two light beams meet within your body is controlled by the mind and is a vast science known throughout the universe. In this teaching, however, we will only be shown what is necessary, that which will take you from third to fourth dimensional awareness. In this case, you will direct the two beams of prana to meet at your navel, or more correct, within your body at navel level, inside the tube. The moment the two beams of prana meet, which is just as the inhale begins, a sphere of white light or prana is formed at the meeting point about the size of a grapefruit, centered on the tube. It all happens in an instant. As you continue to take the inhale of the seventh breath, the sphere of prana begins to concentrate and grow slowly. Body for the next seven breaths, use the same mudra for both inhale and exhale. The thumb first and second touching together, palms up. Breath, deep rhythmic yogic breathing, seven seconds in and seven seconds out. There is no holding of the breath from now on. The flow of prana from the two poles will not stop or change in any way. 
when you go from inhale to exhale. It will be a continuous flow that will not stop for as long as you breathe in this manner, even after death. Seventh breath, exhale, mind, the prana sphere centered at the navel continues to grow. By the time of the full exhale, the prana sphere will be approximately eight or nine inches in diameter. Breath, do not force the air out of your lungs. When your lungs are empty naturally, immediately begin the next breath. Eighth breath, inhale, heart, love, mind, the prana sphere continues to concentrate life force energy and grow in size. Eighth breath, exhale, mind. The prana sphere continues to grow in size and will reach maximum size at the end of this breath. This maximum size is different for each person. If you put your longest finger in the center of your navel, the line on your wrist defining your hand will show you the radius of the maximum size of this sphere for you. This sphere or prana cannot grow larger. Ninth breath, inhale, mind. The prana sphere cannot grow larger, so what happens is the prana begins to concentrate within the sphere. The visual appearance is that the sphere grows brighter. Breath, sphere grows brighter and brighter as you inhale. Ninth breath, exhale, breath. As you exhale, the sphere continues to grow brighter and brighter. Tenth breath, inhale, mind. About halfway through this inhale, as the sphere continues to brighter, the prana sphere reaches critical mass. The sphere ignites into a sun, a brilliant blinding ball of white light. You are now ready for the next step. Tenth breath, exhale, mind. At the moment of exhale, the small sphere, two hand lengths in diameter, bulges to expand in one second combined with the breath talked about below the sphere expands quickly out to the sphere of leonardo out at your fingertips of your extended arms your body is now completely enclosed within a huge sphere of brilliant white light you have returned to the ancient form of spherical breathing However, at this point, the sphere is not stable. You must breathe three more times to keep the sphere stable. Breath, at the moment of exhale, make a small hole with your lips and blow out your air with pressure. As you feel the sphere begin to bulge, all within the first second of this exhale, let all of your air out rapidly the sphere will expand at that moment part three eleventh twelfth and thirteenth breath inhale and exhale mind relax and just feel the flow of the prana flowing from the two poles and meeting at the navel and then expanding out to the large sphere. Breath, breathe rhythmically and deep. At the end of the 13th breath, you have stabilized the large sphere and are ready for the important 14th breath. The 14th breath, heart, love, mind, on the inhale of the 14th breath, at the very beginning of the breath, move the point where the two beams of prana meet from the navel to the sternum, the fourth dimensional chakra. The entire large sphere, along with the original sphere, which is also still contained within the large sphere, moves up to the new meeting point within the tube. 
Though this is very easy to do, it is an extremely powerful movement. Breathing from this new point within the tube will inevitably change your awareness from third to fourth dimensional consciousness or from earth consciousness to Christ consciousness. It will take a while, but as I have said, it is inevitable. Body, this mudra will be used for the rest of the meditation. Place the left palm on top of the right palm for males and the right palm on top of the left palm for females. It is a mudra that relaxes. Breath, rhythmic breath and deep. However, if you continue to breathe from your Christ center without moving on to the Merkava, which is what is recommended until you have made contact with your higher self, then shift to a shallow breath. In other words, breathe rhythmically but in a comfortable manner where your attention is more on the flow of energy moving up and down the tube, meeting at the sternum and expanding out to the large sphere just feel the flow. Use your feminine side to just be. At this point, don't think, just breathe. Feel and be. Feel your connection to all life through the Christ breath. Remember your intimate connection with God. The last three breaths the Merkaba, the vehicle of ascension. You are now asked not to attempt this fourth part until you have made contact with your higher self and your higher self has given you permission to proceed. This part is to be taken seriously. The energies that will come into and around your body and spirit are of tremendous power. If you are not ready, you could hurt yourself. If your higher self gives you permission to enter into the Merkaba, then don't fear, for you will be ready. Fifteenth breath. Inhale. Be aware. of the whole star tetrahedron. Realize that there are three whole star tetrahedrons superimposed over each other. One is the body itself and is locked in place and never except under certain conditions moves. It is placed around the body according to maleness or femaleness. The second whole star tetrahedron is male in nature. It is electrical. It is literally the human mind and rotates counterclockwise relative to your body looking out. Or to put it in another way, it rotates toward your left side. The third whole star tetrahedron is female in nature, is magnetic, is literally the human emotional body and rotates clockwise relative to your body looking out. Or to put it another way, it rotates toward your right side. To be clear, we are not telling you to rotate the male tetrahedron one way and the female the other way. When we say rotate the whole star tetrahedron, we mean the whole thing. On the inhale of the 15th breath, as you are inhaling, you will say to yourself in your head the code words equal speed. This will tell your mind that you want the two rotatable whole star tetrahedrons to begin spinning in opposite directions at equal speeds at the time of the exhale. Meaning 
that for every complete rotation of the mind tetrahedrons, there will be a complete rotation of the emotional tetrahedrons. Body, continue the mudra of the folded hands from now on. Breath, breathe yogic and rhythmically and deeply again, but only for the next three breaths. After that, return to the shallow breathing. Fifteenth breath, exhale, mind, the two sets of tetrahedrons take off spinning. In an instant, they will be moving at exactly one-third the speed of light at their outer tips. You probably will not be able to see this because of their tremendous speed, but you can feel it. What you have just done is to start the motor of the Merkaba. You will not go anywhere or have an experience. It is just like starting the motor of a car, but having the transmission in neutral. Breath, make a small hole with your lips, just like you did for breath number 10. Blow out in the same manner, and as you do, feel the two sets of tetrahedrons take off spinning. Sixteenth breath, inhale. This is the most amazing breath. On the inhale, as you are inhaling, say to yourself in your head, 34, 21. This is the code to your mind to spin the two sets of tetrahedrons at a ratio of 34, 21, meaning the mind tetrahedrons spinning to the left will go around 34 times while the emotional tetrahedrons spinning to the right will go around 21 times. As the two sets speed up, the ratio will remain constant. Breath, breathe rhythmically and yogic. 16th breath, exhale, mind. As you let out the breath, the two sets of tetrahedrons take off from their one-third speed of light setting to two-thirds speed of light in an instant. As they approach two-thirds speed of light speed, a phenomena takes place. A disc about 55 feet in diameter forms around the body at the level of the base of the spine. And the sphere of energy that is centered around the two sets of tetrahedrons forms with the disc to create a shape that looks like a flying saucer around the body. This energy matrix is called the Merkaba. However, it is not stable. If you see or sense the Merkaba around you at this point, you will know it to be unstable. It will be slowly wobbling. Therefore, breath number 17 is necessary. Breath, same as breath 16, Make a small hole in your lips and blow out with pressure. It is at this point that the speed increases. As you feel the speed increasing, let out all your breath with force. This action will cause the higher speed to be fully obtained and the Merkaba to be formed. 17th breath, inhale, heart. Remember, unconditional love for all life must be felt throughout all of this meditation or no results will be realized. Mind, as you breathe in, say to yourself in your head the code, nine-tenths the speed of light. This code will tell your mind to increase the speed of the Merkaba to nine-tenths the speed of light, which will stabilize the rotating field of energy. It will also do something else. This third dimensional universe that we live in is tuned to nine-tenth the speed of light. Every electron in your body is rotating around every atom in your body at nine-tenths the speed of light. This is the reason this particular speed is selected. Breath, breathe rhythmically and in a yogic manner. 17th breath, exhale, mind. The speed increases to nine tenths the speed of light and stabilizes the Merkaba. Breath, 
same as breath 15 and 16. Make a small hole in your lips and blow out with pressure. As you feel the speed take off, let all your breath out with force. You are now in your stable and third dimensionally tuned Merkaba. With the help of your higher self, you will understand what this really means. 18th breath. This is a very special breath, which will not be taught here. You must receive it from your higher self. It is the breath that will take you through the speed of light into the fourth dimension. You will disappear from this world and reappear in another one that will be your new home for a while. This is not the end, but the beginning of an ever-expanding consciousness returning you home to your father. If you share this information with others, please make sure they have all the knowledge leading to this understanding. If they cannot get to a workshop, then let them see the videos of this workshop. If they cannot do that, then at least lead them through with the photographs. If I can be of help in any way, or if there is anything that is not clear, please give me a call or write. In love and service, signed Tranvalo. In love and light, I release this meditation from the veil of secrecy to reside in the light I am that I am. Gabriel Benai Elohim, he transcribed the meditation. More information on Merkaba taught by Dranvalo Melchizedek you find at floweroflife.org.